Welcome back, everybody. All right, so we're at the end game times now. So just like the previous case, there seems to be, like, nothing's definitive in this. Mm -hmm. You can come to multiple conclusions, and the game will let you. Yeah, which is very cool. Um, the, the evidence can support your claim for multiple scenarios. Mm -hmm. uh, if we so if we go to what we've put together so far, we've been able to tie a bunch of stuff together. There's just one lonely thing sitting here. And I think that the only way to attach Robinson's motive to the whole thing mm -hmm. which is we don't necessarily have to, to do. Disconnect everything else. I think Robinson's motive motive only ties in if you destroy the entire Mexican scenario. So if you went through and did like uh, that, change this to that, and it's mainly, I think, It's mainly like how ludicrous the statement looks like. It mm -hmm. is determining how plausible these are. And in this case, it's like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. Mexicans have to be angry. But whether that means they did it or not is a completely <laughs> other story, right? It is possible that they were civil about it and business is business. Uh-huh. But... Tropes have told me that they're always angry, so. No, it doesn't make sense that they wouldn't be angry. They wouldn't just be like, it, d it just doesn't mean that they went to homicidal lengths. Mm -hmm. Anybody be angry after losing a contract that was originally promised to you. Remember, they didn't just lose that out of contract. Okay, so they were promised a contract, then it was stolen out from under their noses. Okay, so Mexicans are angry leads to a Mexican trap. What, could we get rid of that Mexican trap? No, no, this comes out of the conclusion of two others. This is one of those ones that just sprouts so up. This does not exist as a toggle. The Chileans were left. What's no. the other option there? Chileans stayed on the train as a coincidence. Ah, uh, see, that... And none of that really adds up. It really feels like a conspiracy that it was, like, if the Chileans aren't... The thing is, weren't the Chileans and Mexicans also in bidding for Robinson's device? Yeah. As well as two other entities, Hong Kong and... So in that case, you could tie in the Mexicans being angry because the Chileans stole the contract out from under them would maybe add up to the idea of, since both of them were bidding for this contract and this, like Robinson's device, Mexicans decided to get the jump on it and, you know, be uh, sneaky with this one. Yeah. Not wanting to be bid twice in a row by them in the same region. They're like, fuck you, we'll just steal it this time and so that you can't steal our contract. Yeah. That could conceivably be seen as, like, something, but... Do you think... Hmm. That it's a sunk ship? Or a sunk thing? Well, or do you think it's there's buried? There's two... Yeah, there's two outcomes. Because I actually feel like it isn't sunk now. It's like the railway tires are at the bottom of the lake and the uh, train is in the mine or the railway tires are in the mine and the train is in the lake. And Why do they have to be... Something's in the lake and something is in the mine. Why does something have to be in the lake? What if the dam just broke? What's with the heavy... Oh, right. <laughs> something got put in the lake and something got put in the mine. Oh, okay, which, right. which is which that. has to do with where the train disappeared and where the temporary railway ties were used. For some yeah. reason, the game has decided that the ties can't be used twice. Yeah, no. They can uh -uh. only be ripped up and used once because yeah. we all know that railway ties are allowed to you be can only placed, them in once. ripped up, and placed twice in their life. Yeah. Because they're ripped up from their original location, used again, and then ripped up and well, then destroyed because you can't place them a third time. Yeah. Precisely. That's, that's the <laughs> failure, I feel like, in this particular mystery so far is because it's making the assumption that you couldn't possibly do both. Um, it was carefully planned murder. The Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the train and, in a flooded quarry to hide their crime. 
Mexicans' inhumanity towards the Chileans cost many lives. We must act quickly, contact Lestrade, and allow the police to perform their loud and swift justice, even at the risk of international conflict. Or, a criminal organization such as this cannot be confronted directly. It requires delicate approach. Give Mycroft the chance to resolve the conflict, even though it might be protracted and turn, turned to his own advantage. I want to talk like one more time and see if we can get like a little bit more information from say Robinson. Yeah. It feels odd that we weren't able to pursue this him a bit more. This contains my archives. We so what other clues seem up in the air right now? Well. The whole, like, which locations did the train actually pass through. So we have this space up here where we know it passed through. Then the next one is the guy who has a Wait, we don't problem. know that it passed through the top one. Yeah, the top one is the guy who's very, like, on the ball. He's, he, like... Oh, the young guy. Yeah. He does That's things the top by the book. one? I'm pretty sure it's the very, the one that starts with a B. And then this one was Where they the forced one. everyone off at the top? That makes sense then, yeah. I guess. And they couldn't, like... Oh, I came to the wrong station then, because this is Evesham, and I need... The next guy Robinson's had gambling problems. Yeah. And then I'm... the next guy was the alcoholic, and the next station... Who is... they got drunk in order to be given tools. Yeah. At Doncaster. Yeah, Doncaster. Why did they here. need tools? Was it to... And why did they... No, no, Doncaster is guy with a uh, gambling problem. Chesterfield okay. is guy. Shit. And that's near... It's closer to the railway switch that goes up to the mines. Let's go to Goody Two Shoes land and talk to Robinson again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're not sure that the train pla passed through those places, and that's one of the things we have to decide. Get the fuck, fuck. I will not move from here until I receive hmm. my refund. It's a scandal, an absolute outrage. Okay, so one thing to note, this man lost a, a prototype that was that is just vanished into thin air now. He was like forced to be moved from his own train that he had specially booked a special cart to transport a $15,000 prototype. Mm -hmm. And he's concerned about his refund for his ticket. He's acting as though he doesn't really, he doesn't seem concerned about the loss of $15,000 prototype. And that's why he seems suspicious, like, that this was a conspiracy to lose the prototype, because... And he was sending a telegraph to people that had insurance details. When... Oh, yeah, yeah, he was... And he stuffed it behind a thing. He said yeah. he'd lost it. Yeah. Wait. If it was a conspiracy, he wouldn't lose it. He wouldn't want to lose it. Hmm. But if it was a... Conspir if it wasn't a conspiracy, then why is he not panicking? Yeah. Both m scenarios don't make sense. What it, Do we know what it, the telegraph said? No, we don't. No. We just know that he used the telegraph and that the slip of paper slipped behind there and he was grateful when I gave him the insurance paper back. Mm -hmm. Don't touch anything, please. But yeah, I feel as though he should be going nuts. He's asking for the entire refund, including that large sum. It's a scandal, an absolute outrage. I don't think that's what he's asking for. I think he's asking for the refund of... Booking the special car. Yeah. I guess he's not panicking because he has insurance. And he wasn't panicking before I gave him the insurance paper because he didn't know it was missing yet. He didn't know he had misplaced yeah. it. So that's why he's not panicking, is because he has insurance no matter what. Even if it was a conspiracy, or even if it wasn't a conspiracy, he's fine. 
So, okay. to get back to brass tacks, the two choices we have overall in this scenario, even though I haven't done it yet here, let's let's try to make it happen. Let's make it look like a conspiracy the other way, uh, involving Robinson. Okay. But like, I don't see how we can. Like, okay. There's so many things to disconnect. Uh, you have to. See, all right, so to disconnect these, you have to make stupid assumptions like that the Mexicans had no grudge, like business is business after all, and you have to assume that it was a coincidence that yeah. only the Chileans stayed on the train and that they forced everybody else off. That sounds stupid. And you have to assume that... Wait, which one? Black means I've got it selected? Yes. So... So this one could be the road it goes to the mines, not the quarry. Why don't I have two nodes for this? It might just be an orphaned one. Yeah. I don't even know. It had to have missed Don Caster if it missed Chesterfield. I can't draw any other conclusions here. Oh, what's this one? The train is sealed underneath the collapsed mines. That's by saying that it missed Chesterfield. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section into the mines, and the mines were collapsed to hide the train. Dynamite was used after the train was moved inside. Then... What happens when you do this? It no, goes it destroys red. that, yeah. Yeah, it has to have missed Doncaster. <laughs> it just doesn't work, the other one. I don't even know how to draw this conclusion. Well, th yeah, this was actually what I was about to say. Is it possible that both scenarios happen? That a happy coincidence, Holy shit. like Robinson did conspire to have it disappear with the Mexican, oh. to kill two birds with one stone? Wow! How did they finagle that? The Chileans made the train vanish in order to steal the prototype from Mr. Robinson. Well, isn't don't we think the Mexicans like? Oh, well, that doesn't make sense. The Chileans stole it. No, no, Robinson is like not a victim in that scenario. I want it to... Can we have both? Oh, you have to require that. <laughs> that will get you Robinson as a swindler. In this case, it was all about the money. Mr. Robinson is a financial swindler. With the aid of his minions, he sealed the train and his fake machine underneath the collapsed mine to make a fortune from multiple contracts. That way, his prototype would be safe in And he the would mine. get the 10% money down from four different people. Yeah, and, and then... Yeah, he doesn't lose... The 50% of the insurance. So he gets it's 9%. safe in the mine because he can uncover it later. Yeah. Robinson is a swindler, but he's a famous man of influence. Direct confrontation is inadvisable. It would be preferable if Minecraft's political means of resolving the situation, even at the expense of justice. Thomas Robinson is a guileful man who would not hesitate to sacrifice the lives of his own personal gang, contact Lestrade, and allow the police to perform their loud and swift justice before he plans a new swindle. Um... The thing is, in this case, you have to orphan 
the Mexican grudge. The mm. train not being able to be sunk because the rails were used elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And the barges just are, end up being like a non fact. It doesn't hair. matter. It's irrelevant in this case. But the biggest problem in this logic train is the fact that the Chileans were just coincidentally yeah. overlooked. By which conductor? Which one forced them off, do we think? Oh, we don't know. We don't the know. conductor was yeah. a conspirator, and we don't know where he is. Yeah, that's my biggest issue with this. Like, the rest of it all makes sense to me. To me, this is the least likely one. Really? I think it makes so much sense for Robinson, though. What's like, the Mexican guy doing here? he still has his prototype. And what's he waiting around in the station for so long for? He said... What did you... Guys, can you tell me... I could go back and see the dialogue. I think they have it all recorded. What did he say when he lied? Watson even called it as a lie. Oops. How do you get to dialogue? Oh, here we go. Hmm. At Doncaster, he says... Um, I was to meet my fellow Comperneros, so he still says he's Chilean who were due to arrive yesterday, they were on that damned train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. I think Campaneros is Spanish, or Mexican, right? I think it's interchangeable. It's all Latin. South American or North American, Mexican and Chilean cultures still bleed into each other. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them or their bodies. It is now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name? It's not my concern. Okay, so if he is Mexican, oh, it marks him as a Mexican. Yeah. Like they decided, like uh, yeah. Watson and Sherlock, that he's 100% Mexican. So he's lying for some reason because he smokes Mexican cigars. I know companeros means companions. Um. Yeah, in Chile we talk Spanish too, says Mido. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, taking for granted that they make the ridiculous conclusion that he's Mexican based solely on the cigars he smokes, mm -hmm. um, which is crazy because they could have drawn some other crazy, like, ridiculous, like, like, Sherlock could come to that conclusion based on some other small clue on his person. They yeah. didn't need to make it hinge on the cigars and just makes it so silly. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, what's he doing there if he was a conspirator to kill the Chil Chileans? Why would he wait around after their death? Because it's not like he can confirm their death, really, right? If the plan went off without a hitch, because he was there to make sure it went off without a hitch. Why was he, why is he waiting around the station? It doesn't make, I don't understand his motives to be there anymore. So, what do you think is more likely? Because we should play out the ones that we don't think are true to yeah. see their, how they play out. Well. You think Robinson's a swindler? Like, what's the Mexican waiting around for in both scenarios? Yeah. In all four. Robinson Swindler scenario, what's he doing there? Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know why I said all four. Because <laughs> well, there's like the... All three. W Robinson Swindler, and then the other one being... Uh, uh, wait. No, it's only two. Because it's been verified like 100% that he's Which a Mexican, not a Chilean. Our one do right now? This goes oh, back okay. here to... Okay. 
and we know that we can check the conclusions and we can go back if we don't like that option. If you change the no grudge, will something change? Um, I think it, you can change it back and forth now. I don't think it makes a difference it right now. It doesn't matter if they're angry or not. The fact that this is just like I said at the beginning when we unlocked mm -hmm. this, them being angry doesn't mean they created anything. I want to see if I can make both happen. Oh! You can! Chileans were left. Mexicans are angry. Mexican trap. How does this... So then, no, Robinson's motive is just like... Oh, this is the Mexican sealed in the mine. You can choose... Sealed in Chileans. So the Chileans are in the mine. So you're gonna have Chileans drowned, Chileans sealed, device sealed, device in the lake. Yes. Because of the fact that they let you draw the draw that extra option of in the lake or in the mine. Mm -hmm. In the case of killing the Chileans, neither matters. You kill some people. Mm-hmm. In the case of Robinson, concealment versus sinking actually matters. Yeah. Because it, it's it, so it, much it saves his device. Yeah. I wonder if you can use, like, somehow draw something that uses all of it. Like, say, Robinson has a motive. And we want the train in the mine to, to both seal in the Chileans. God, so we're just going to fucking leave them in the goddamn mines? There's also, at the mine, a railway tie that had fallen off. Mm -hmm. A truck transporting ties. <sighs> a light one. A light one. Yeah, it, it said was, specifically a yeah. light one. Because the tracks weren't heavy. Oh my goodness. There are heavy tracks going to the lake. Mm -hmm. Which could mean that the device was taken there to be put on a barge. To be floated across the lake. To where? Back to Chile? To drive it away. Because in that case, they're thinking... Uh, that... What? The beach... You... Who even cares? They can't take their boat anywhere. In that case, temporary rail ties are put up here at this railway switch. Or is it this railway switch? One of the railway switches, uh, the one that goes into the lake. Okay. It's John put Katz, on a barge right? there, floated through the floated lake all the way, flooded lake all the way up to the beach, and then unloaded at the beach, and that's why there's heavy tracks to drive away on a road, away from the beach. Mm. That's how they escape with the with the device. Light to heavy. That makes sense. So then the train, if it came to Doncaster, Really, you got a theft option. Yeah. There's so many different things. There's theft, there's sabotage, there's murder. There's, I guess there's three. 
There's so many loose ends. It's like, I wonder if there's a conclusion that wraps it all up, ties up every loose end. Do you want to know the answer to that? Sure. No. There isn't one that ties up everything. No. All right. Thank you. Indian. So we're gonna have to leave something. I really, that was a good train of thought you were going down with it being light in the Dovin Shire or whatever. You mean light tracks? Light tracks there yeah. and then heavy coming out from the beach. The barge is important in that instance. Yeah. How, so it's not actually sunk. How is it that the the tracks are light? Because we it's know that just railway ties loaded onto a vehicle create heavy tracks because the ones leading away from the destroyed building that had railway ties and tracks was heavy tracks. Mm, motherfucker. However, there are no heavy tracks at the mine. Why are there no heavy tracks at the mine? Is the only thing we can assume is that the tracks that, that there were no temporary tracks used there, and that the mine being co destroyed was sabotage of the mine and that is an option the the um mine was just destroyed because they it was revenge mexican revenge to say fuck you you can't use the mine if we can't use the mine like they just blew it up with dynamite mm -hmm. um because that is a fact like we want to believe that the device was concealed but there are no heavy tracks to have taken the rail away like there has been shown in multiple other locations especially the ones leading away from where why they would were the rails be so heavy it doesn't make sense uh, they're really heavy shit i don't know also the it's a different truck than was used to take the rails away yeah. from the other location so a lot of things are pointing to the fact that no rails were used at even temporarily at the mine yeah. Yeah. Except for that one little board that Holmes has decided fell off of a truck. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I guess he's saying it fell off the truck because the tracks are recent, which you can tell some fucking how, I don't know. And it's not, if, if a vehicle carriage had gone over it, it would have been pushed into the mud, whereas it was just lying across the tracks. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why he's come to that conclusion. Oh. <laughs> uh, here's a way to shortcut your way into all the different... You can do this. It'll just draw them all for oh. you again. Do we have to come up with those conclusions first? Yeah. Um, have we found all of them at this point? My brain is hurting at this point. I so know, I just want to know awesome. if I found all four or not. There's only four, okay. Okay, thank So at this you. point, we have a choice of Mexicans drown the Chileans, carefully planned murder, the Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the train in a flooded quarry to hide. To hide what? To hide the train? To hide the murder? To hide their crime? <coughs> Excuse it was me. carefully planned murder. The Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the train in a flooded quarry to hide their crime. Uh... The only thing that doesn't make an, uh, so like let's find what's wrong with each of the four. Okay. This one, what do you see is wrong with it? The main thing for me is why is he hanging around? It doesn't make sense. Why is he sticking around? Mission mission accomplished. Let's hang out at the scene of the crime for days, smoking cigars, acting suspicious. Why? Mm hmm But it doesn't make sense that he's there. Even if it wasn't a mission accomplished, why is he there? He's there. Oh, in that case. See, this is weird. Why did the game give us unequivocal, like, an answer, even in the dialogue, me marks him as a Mexican? Why not leave it up in the air, whether yeah. he's Mexican or Chilean? Yeah, totally. So that it leaves multiple, because 
if he, it makes even less sense that he's hanging around if he's not related to this in any way. Well, no, it would make sense for him to be hanging around if he was telling the truth and that he was Chilean there to get his brethren waiting for the bodies to be found. He was there for days and the crime happened last night. But he's still there. Yes, he is still there. <laughs> That's the fact, is that he's been there for days, presumably to maybe okay. orchestrate the crime, but then he's also been there for the once, day after. Once the crime has been committed, he Sticking would around. be at a dodge, right? Yeah. It doesn't make sense for him to stick around. And it would make sense if he was a Chilean waiting to find the bodies so that he could get them yeah. home and repatriate them. So, in a way, it's like the game has almost forced us to use this option because they've said he's a Mexican. And Holmes had to talk about him lying and stuff. Like, so that, yeah. it's almost like the game said this is the only answer, which is kind of annoying. For that scenario. The other things with this scenario is, like, uh, it doesn't involve the, th the theft the theft of the device or anything to do with the device it just makes um what's his name out to be a victim yeah who just unfortunately got caught up in this scenario and lost his device mm -hmm. um in that case why are there heavy tracks at the other side of the flooded on the beach Maybe it's completely related to something different. Like, they were cleaning up the beach and they That's pulled some dumb. of the boats. They were like... Yeah, that pretty fucking dumb. I'm a dummy. Right? No, you're not a dummy. Like, But that's completely possible that they'll just be like, yeah, ah, it totally. doesn't matter. Heavy tracks, whatever. <laughs> Forget beach, about it. The beach was like, it looked like shit. So maybe they're cleaning it. You think they're just cleaning it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. oh, yeah, there was that sombrero dream thing. <laughs> um, oh, so weird. Chilean stole the prototype. The Chilean stole the prototype and sealed the train underneath the collapsed mines to hide their crime. In that case, what's the Mexican doing there for days and why is he still there acting suspicious and lying and about Robinson who he is, is and a why. bit dumb uh, I'm not buying this one Robinson is a swindler it was all about the money and in this case what's accident for this one uh, coincidence uh, for the trains to stay I don't on the like train this one. Why can't, why didn't they allow an option for it to have been a conspiracy with Robinson and the yeah, Mexican yeah, to like kill the Chileans thought. and get the device and get a payout on insurance? Yeah. Everybody's happy. <laughs> it would have been such an elegant answer. Uh, Except for the Chileans are happy, not happy. Yeah. Mexicans killed the Chileans. Because it's the, who specializes in barges? Mexicans. So in that case, the barge would get him across and like, but where do you hide the barge? Mm -hmm. They might just have one there. Oh. And you have two options of how he killed them. It's like they really want you to choose that one because they give you two choices for these ones. These are like the two duds, whereas it's like, do you want the Mexicans to have drowned the Chileans or sealed the Chileans? Mm-hmm. Are we on Mexican sealed in Chileans right now? Yeah. Can I see that one again? <sighs> again, the Chileans were left purposely. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. In all the murder scenarios, they're left purposefully. Right. In all of the non-murder scenarios, they were just coincidentally left on, which is just stupid. That and that's why those aren't an option. Me. And that's why they should have had an option that included both. All right, you know what? Let's oh. just fucking see how um, the Robinson one plays out for fun. Which one do you want to do? Get the... Uh, 
bring in um, the police. Yeah, sure. <sighs> and none of these included cookies. All right, we'll be back after this with the solutions, the conclusions that will play out before our eyes. We are back with our conclusions. Do you have a clear idea in your mind of which one you think it is? Oh, it's murder. The top or the bottom? Doesn't really matter, does it? I mean... Then the case is solved, Holmes. <laughs> what do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble. But it will be a long and drawn-out process, and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. Our other option is the local constabulary, and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. All the same, I think that I prefer the forces methods. It would be better to resolve the case quickly and efficiently. This will play out for any every scenario, no matter politics. what. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. No, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Nothing. I only want to stop our dear Mr. Robinson before he realizes we have cornered him. Let us go. I kind of have this, like, um, craving to go through the game, making Sherlock out to be a bumbling oaf who just gets all the wrong people convicted. <laughs> <laughs> that can be really fun. Yeah, there's a bit of popping with that tree. Did you see that? That's what it's called, right? Pop in? Yeah. Pop out? Can you call it a pop out if it disappears? Mr. Robinson, we must ask you to remain here until the police arrive. The police? But why? You are one of the suspects in our case of the vanished train, which, by the way, involves the death of all its passengers. What? Is this a joke? I can assure you that it is not. This is outrageous. You don't know who you're dealing with. I am an influential man, and you shall regret this. Jeez, Chris. We know Ew. perfectly well who you are. We also know where the train is. The police shall be happy to find it. And as for your exclusive sales contracts... Uh, choose... Mr. Robinson is a fine... Okay. Who's found? 23, moral choice, blind justice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now we'll bring in Mycroft. Do you think it'll be much different or it is probably the same thing? I think the Mycroft or police just has to do with Beyond that point? Beyond that point is just how the yeah the game plays later. Yeah, is is that true? Is it worth watching the ending with Mycroft with that? Because he'll say it's slightly... He should say it slightly differently because he's not waiting for the police to come. Yeah, he'll say something slightly differently. There's a drastic difference? What? All right. Wait. Yeah, we're different. All right. Hopefully I can skip through a bit. I just like the way that looks. Then the case is solved, Holmes. <laughs> what do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for... Ah, but I... On the... The problem... Ah, but... Uh, but I... 
Let us go home. No, I did. Well, enough. So that was the thing. Are we making out? I don't see how this is going to be much different, because he didn't really say much there about, besides the police arriving. Well, oh, he might... Mr. Robinson, we must ask you to remain here. The police? Oh, weird. You are one of the suspects in our case of the vanished train, which, by the way, involves the death of all its passengers. What? Well, I can assure you sure. that it is not. We know perfectly where... It's exactly You guys the same. said... That it was drastically different. Choose right. another ending. So the moral choice has no bearing on the way it plays out. It has to do with probably later how Mycroft interacts with you. Okay. Um, Do you like your pipe? Get out of here. <sighs> okay, wait. All right. Okay, so that was... Chilean stole the prototype. Whatever, political game. Last time the choice, the choices were very different because it was a difference between a, um, coming to the conclusion of who the murderer was, but having them arrested or letting them go. That's why it was so drastic. Oh. So maybe it's different for each case. Mm. It appears that way. There might be a difference between moral options for the correct answer. Hmm. Then the case is solved. Well, uh, on the... Uh, Too bad you have to watch that every time. Oh! The Chilean stole the prototype doesn't even give you any kind of confrontation. I'm surprised... I guess. Who are we going to confront? Well, I'm surprised it doesn't involve Holmes saying to Mr. Robinson what happened or something. So that's definitely the worst ending right there. Yeah. And that one definitely won't matter which one you choose moral choice wise. Okay, and then these next two are ones that we think it could possibly be. Yeah, like, so what do you think? Murdered in the, sealed away or drowned? I'd say sealed away. Okay. I'm and still like, kind of thinking about whether Robinson is just a big shithead and did all of it. I know you don't like that one. It's not possible because we know it's not at this point. Which one? Oh yeah. What one do you think? Drowned or? Flooded the quarry? Or quarry is unrelated and you put him into the mine. The quarry is pretty friggin' ridiculous. Yeah. To flood an entire quarry to drown people on a train, as opposed and to just simply- And then make the train disappear. Diverting the train into a place that already had, used to have rail going to it and just blow it up. Yeah. Seems way more likely. Um, let me just see what, what has to be negated. Whoa, what? What the? Oh, there we go. Um, what's the difference between the two? What happens? There's this whole... Vanished earlier? No, that was right. 
Which one has the most orphaned stuff? Robinson's motive will always be orphaned. Then you got these two down here versus... This one has the most connections. Which doesn't necessarily mean it's right. Why do the barges tie into this? Because the Mexicans are controlling the barges. But why does the barges have anything to do with anything at this point? I don't... Holy shit. Oh, meaning like the train could have been put on a barge, brought out to the middle, then sunk? Whoa. I guess? And they closed the mines just because? This ties up the most things, so it must be the right answer. Like, everything ties up except for Robinson. Whereas the other one leaves barges and could be sunk, left out. Um, what were some of the evidence? Like, what was the, la, the label we had? What was the importance of the label? Oh, that was a, um, like, uh, tying in somebody's company. The Mexicans being from a barge company. That's it. Yeah. And the label was found... Um, where was the label found? At the beach. You guys remember? All right, which one's the right one? Because uh, we want to do the wrong one first. I think it's this one because it connects everything. Even you think, I think they sunk it? I think both are stupid. Yeah. I think both are dumb. I think they're in the mines. Wait. The lapel was at the beach. Which so is fine. What the fuck were they doing at the beach? I the don't Mexicans get it. Yes. At the beach? They're like barge people, so. To do what with? I don't know. The train had to be- I don't know why there's a fucking barge in this little tiny Drowned lake. is correct. Because, really look, why this is ridiculous to me. The train has to be put in from here in this situation. Mm -hmm. What does the beach and the heavy tire tracks have anything to do with the rest of it if the, if the Chileans were drowned? If the Chileans were drowned. The beach and the heavy tire tracks and the lapel of a Mexican, the Mexican's lapel button make no sense for being at the beach in that case. They're cleaning up the beach. It's dirty. All right, let's go and just play out the, uh... The... Sealing them in. That was my third choice. It just felt like it's dumb. Wrong. <laughs> uh, blind justice. Uh, I don't care. Did you do blind justice? They brought the train to the beach. That doesn't make sense. Why would they drive the train to the beach to put it in when it? What? You guys can make your guesses if you want. We, this I think is such we already said the an elaborate though. and ridiculous the plot is for so revenge. Well, yeah. I, uh, on the but uh, the oh, at a, not well. But, wait, wait. Huh. You may rest assured that I have a far better idea. Oh. We have only yeah. to use our Whatever. corrupt Doncaster station. In a bit. Of course, you already had. They'll well, say the exact the same thing when soft, we do the next. And we shall be heading home. And may we have two tickets to London, please? Right away, what? Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case. In a manner of speaking, 
Can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans who were on board the train? The police have ordered his immediate escort to London on the next train. It, it pulled through, then? He's alive? Yes, by extreme good fortune. His condition is quite serious, and the method of transportation has its risk. But he will be held securely by the doctor and police officers. The gentleman carries some vital information on this case. I am sure of it. Ah, really? Your station will be famous, Mr. Duff. The journalists will be here before you know it. Goodbye, sir. Good goodbye, gentlemen. He's nervous because he's involved and implicated, and the survivor will know that he did what. Uh... Eh. Why are they doing it again? Oh, Gentlemen, you are under arrest. <laughs> sure, <Sherlock. laughs> You traitor! You double crossed me! Whoops. <laughs> Can Holmes die? How oh, dreadful. Two dead bodies. What a terrible ending to such a great case. There, there, my dear fellow. It is all right. You did your best. Not really. Holy shit. I have a feeling the same shootout goes out the same way when the other way around. Yeah. I don't think I have to um, play that out again. I'll just go to drowned, and this time, what do we want to do? Shoot the gun out of the hand, or should we first watch him shoot Sherlock? <laughs> I don't think he was going for Sherlock. Oh yeah, he was going to shoot Sherlock. Whenever he shot the first time? He shoots the guy. If you miss his hand... Oh. The best ending is shoot, probably shooting the gun out of his hand. Yeah. The worst ending is missing both and him shooting Sherlock oh, yeah, and the that. guy. <laughs> He'll just miss or something. You think? I don't know. How it'll happen. So which do we want? Uh, political game. You think political? Make Minecraft happy? Yeah, sure. This isn't a real choice, right? We're well, just maybe. playing one out. I don't know, maybe. What do we care? Um, okay. I'd say actually Minecraft. Yeah, I don't know why Sherlock's so anti Minecraft yeah. all the time. It is clearly something that needs to be held or dealt with delicately. Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend? Well, don't skip too much. I, ah, but I know that. On the one hand, with the problem we have there is that the our other option is Brother Mike, but it will be a long and drawn up. But I think I'd prefer to give. Let us go home then. No, I did not. Well, Watson, we know that the Barcazas Company directors were drowned in the flooded quarry, <sighs> along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do Care you to illustrate to prove... how it happened? Oh no. Please don't tell me we have to dive into the <laughs> lake. <laughs> you may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have only to use our corrupt Doncaster station master as bait. He will unwittingly trap our Mexican friend. <sighs> of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. Well, the case is solved, and we shall be heading her right away. In a manner of, the police have ordered his immediate escort. It, it pulled. Yes, by extreme good fortune, the gentleman cat. Ah, Rit, your station will be famous. Hmm. Good goodbye. <laughs> You're the worst. Goodbye. 
later. <laughs> Such a nefarious. He did it. Yeah, Watson totally did it. <laughs> Fucking Holmes. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. <laughs> Caramba! You traitor! You double crossed me! Boy, I sure look awesome doing this. I am the coolest looking guy having shown up on this thing. And not a chance yeah. I will be killed either. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm the story. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Watson is the hero of the day. Whoop whoop. <laughs> the story should have a Good sharpshooter. Shot, Watson. I always knew you were a talented marksman. Yeah, man, I, I was didn't in the want war. another life lost in this case, Holmes. Oh my god! I thought I was a dead man. You shouldn't be so glad about it. You'll be up before the judge. Your testimony will be of great importance to the investigation. I would remind you that your cooperation will be the best way to ease your sentence. By the way, Watson, would you be so kind as to give me some shooting lessons later on? Yes, but not in our <laughs> sitting room, and not with you wearing a blindfold. He was a carefully clown. Oh, my God. Wow. All right, we're taking this one? Yeah. Okay. You like that ending? Nope. Too much shit that doesn't make sense. Too many red herrings. Such is life, man. Life is full of red herrings. Can you guys tell... What, what's your guys' theory as to why the fuck sh the Mexican was on the beach with heavy... Uh, with the same heavy tra tracks that mm -hmm. they used for the railway ties? Does it mean that he dumped the railway ties in the lake but that's the unflooded lake so it wouldn't be easy to dump them in because you'd be able to see them from the shore yeah. it's not like he could have drove them in and then flooded it the tracks at the beach march the tracks at the rail house mexicans brought the rails to the beach and loaded the barge carried them across train falls in mexicans removed the rails You dr the barge floats the rails across. And then drives it into the lake, the train into the lake before the lake was flooded. So the train goes into the lake and just keeps going and doesn't float in any way there's no wreckage on the surface like floating up to the top like trains are made of different parts but they said specifically this oh because it's the entire train right there'd be some random floating yeah. shit coming yeah, up to the surface think. of the lake yeah there'd be parts that float that would get busted up as a train going at presumably full speed it would have to be going fast for chileans not to jump off they broke the dam like a week earlier okay fine but the fact is, if the train was diverted to j drive into the lake at a speed in which the people on board could not escape, it'd have to be going fast. It would smash into the lake, and water is hard when it collides with things at high speed. That train would be obliterated. There'd be wreckage everywhere. It, I don't buy the idea of the train just going like... No, there wouldn't. The it's sea. all together in one piece. Uh, what? <laughs> but. <laughs> I, I don't think. There should be traces of train. You yeah. know the trains are made of like tons of little parts. Tons of stuff. And then there's all the shit that's inside a train. There's upholstery. There's seats. There's um, wood on the sides of, ca of uh, uh, what do you call them? Carts or what are the things? Trolleys. Trolleys. Right. They're made of wood, they're made of metal, they're made of every little different thing. And when... Mm, I think this was a silly... Ugh. I don't like this conclusion. It's lame. 
It doesn't make sense. Yeah. They use railway screws to hold things in place. No, it wasn't led into the lake, then flooded. Then why would the, the Chileans just was wait? Flooded earlier. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, it's been flooded for weeks. Too. There would have been people talking about how the lake just flooded. Oh my God, it flooded last yeah, night. Yeah, the barge would have and allowed the train to go on top of the water before sinking it. So in your scenario, you're saying that the train was loaded onto a barge somehow while the Chileans waited. On yeah. the train, while they load the train onto a barge, float it and out into the middle, and then sink the train. Out yes. at that point because they weren't in that enclosed area. Yeah. It was foggy, so they couldn't see. Uh, <laughs> none of it make none of it makes sense. All of it seems really stupid. They were dead before they sunk the train. Maybe that could have been possible. That would have maybe, and then hide the evidence in some really convoluted, over-the-top way. Hide what ev evidence of their death? They yeah, just so like, in this case, flooding a lake weeks in oh advance, my God. removing, uh, um, destroying a building, and, or no, not destroying, they didn't destroy the building, they stole all the railway ties, set up rail, to drive a train in just to hide bodies of a murder that you obviously committed, and it's a train that will obviously be tried to... A train's not going to go missing without people investigating. How could yeah. they think that by driving it into a lake, I'm going to hide all the evidence of these deaths? Yeah. That's ridiculous. They could have poisoned all the Chileans. Then why not just poison the Chileans? Yeah, why and get the, the fuck out? Disappear? It doesn't make sense for all this elaborate plan to go through and put, setting up the like the theft of the railway ties and setting up the railway ties and how many people could see you doing all these things just sets you up to be caught in such a more tight way than just murdering somebody outright would. Oh go my into goodness. a fucking railway cart with Tommy guns. And shoot up the place. They had yeah. to bribe multiple people. Yeah. With booze on one hand and money on the other hand. When they could have just murdered them and gotten away with it and walked away. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> they could have, you could have fucking just blown a train up. Yeah. Like, they could have. That would have been they, so they much easier. Access to dynamite because they blew up. They, in this scenario, they still blew up the mine because the out of revenge this is and remember this isn't to gang anything either yeah. this is pure revenge yeah as a pure revenge thing they could have just blown up the ship that they're taking back to chile once they they're done did their have business tnt yeah that's the thing they had tnt they could have fucking and we we've acknowledged that they were able to get uh um conspire with a uh uh the conductor to get everybody else who is not chilean off Mm -hmm. If they can conspire with one conductor to get people off and keep Chileans on, they can also get dynamite on, let the train continue to go, and then just blow it up mid-track and then walk away. And who's going to find the evidence of who did it? My brain hurts. After that. What happens if we press continue? Um, I hate ranting about games like this, but this is just <laughs> ridiculous. It's still fun to... It was still fun to play. Figure it out. But boy, howdy, was it Ouch. silly. What happened? I feel deathly. And you look it. Let me examine you. I'm dying. Please don't tell me that you've returned to your dying. own habits. Are you on drugs? To solve another case. Ah! Uh, <laughs> you. Is this the beginning of the next case, or is this still? Oh my God. Oh yeah, I forgot. Watson's a doctor. The pupil is dilated. He's high. This is going to be a... The temperature appears to be normal. This is the start of case three. Oh, is it? Yeah. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. All right, we'll find out on the next... On the oh. next episode, what's going on. I think it's opium, yeah. Yeah. Um...
So I think it's still fun because it sparks. Well, what's discussion. the tone of the chat? Am I the only one? Am I oh, alone God, in thinking no. this is ridiculous? No, people in there were saying that this was one of I the worst I guess I get ones. all worked up because I always think that people are against me in these things because they usually are. Yeah. Whenever I find Phoenix Wright ridiculous, I find that there's a vocal. I don't know if it's a minority, majority or minority, but there's a vocal group who try to piss me off by always being against me and seeing the logic where no logic is. Yeah. It's crazy, stupid, fun, but fun. I think what was, um, I guess, frustrating and why I'm ranting so much is because we saw such a much more elegant way to tie this all together. They could have had, you could have had like the, the multiple choices that this game affords you you would be like, you know, Robinson did it, the Mexican did it. But then they could have had a really elegant one that ties the two together, that is the true scenario, that you only get that conclusion if you tied the clues together right, uh -huh. and you're rewarded for seeing the whole masterwork. I kind of think that it's really cool that there are some red herrings. Things aren't always like, all these pieces fit together sure. and perfect. It's cool when there's, I, I'm Inclusion. fine with red herrings, but I'm, I still think that it's a squandered opportunity for a more logical conclusion that would make sense. I think that for all of that effort, the Mexicans should have profited in some way. And it would have made so much more sense motive-wise if it wasn't just revenge. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they had written in opportunity for profit, it just feels like a missed opportunity. It could have easily been this beautiful, like, everything ties together moment. Yeah. I don't know. Good news, the next case involves spirit channeling. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And I can't believe that we're soon going to be starting a Phoenix Wright game. Oh my god, this and Phoenix Wright? <laughs> I don't know why we do this to ourselves. Fuck. <laughs> I, I, it, yeah, what did happen with the prototypes? Did the Mexicans take it? The prototype just coincidentally it was just, sunk yeah, because it's... they got unlucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just, he was unlucky. That's all it was. Yeah. This could have, they could have also, like, I, I could have also seen, if I was the Mexican, I could have done this in so many better ways. You could have like, trains that allow such cool different options. Like, you could have, detach the rail car and just had it just one car slide off the like go diverted and let Ooh, the train yeah, keep totally. going and a train a car goes missing less likely for people to go then nuts they could over that. bribe people like yeah. bribe them with money and, and booze say, and because part of the reports that are sent ahead is what the train status is yeah you just say no that car never existed yeah and then like they could have put that car in the mine and blown it up Kill two birds with one stone, destroy the mine, destroy them. Uh, all the things, but. Hey, wow, thanks for that? watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's still entertaining, uh, that's yeah. for sure. It's an entertaining game. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we'll see you next time on Video Games Awesome Live. This was Crimes and Punishments Awesome, Sherlock Holmes. Woo! Here's an encore of Becky taking off her mustache. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're supposed to use remover, you know. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Rip it. <laughs> oh that's a kiss. <laughs> oh <Woof. laughs> and you get to do it next week or whenever we play this again. Oh. See you guys. <laughs>